Okay, hello, and welcome to the live stream. Nobody's actually joined yet, but I'm going to be talking anyway. For those of you that might be watching uh, at a later time, it's a little bit later than normal, so I will understand if uh, not as many people join. Uh, it's just the time that I was able to be able to get on here and do this. So, so go ahead, and, and we're just going to play at a normal level, and we certainly have some traffic issues here. Um, which was the main complaint for Team 1 is they only had this um, basic connection here. And I wanted to explain that a little bit, guys. So it's not just simply to be mean and we weren't such sticklers just because we we're, were trying to be ugly about it. But we wanted to limit the speed at which the city grew. We didn't want it to grow too fast because, A, we want to... Uh, have this last a little bit longer than the last city did and B uh, it's going to help evolve the city a little bit more naturally if we think about it in those terms so we're going to upgrade things but we're going to upgrade them slowly and if you are going to um, grow the city too quickly this is basically one of the penalties for doing so that's the thinking behind this uh, that being said, uh, after round one, it is definitely time to upgrade um, this whole section here and possibly think about uh, getting some uh, different connections as well to the individual cities. Now, another thing uh, that we talked about was I had left this uh, in here and that needed to go. Uh, that is based on Zardis's, um government. They they asked me to do so, so I shall be doing that presently. Over here. Let me mute that. Okay, there we go. So. Uh, when you are... When we finally attach the two cities together, uh, where they are touching... At that point in time, if you guys want to talk to each other uh, about uh, connecting the water system, you are welcome to do so. But um, until then, we will do that. Uh, I am sorry for any confusion. The confusion would be my fault because I did not understand what Zardis government was originally asking me to do. So uh, lay that on me. Obviously, we're going to have an issue over here. Uh, with Team 2's city, uh, as they have not put in any water treatment. They were using the water treatment for uh, Team 1, from Team 1. So that is something that's going to need to be addressed. And uh, before uh, government's turn is over tomorrow, I will actually talk to government about that. Okay, so that being said, uh, let me think about... We also have, obviously, we have these two areas and uh, room for more. I'm not sure. I guess that's just communicating between the things. So we want to avoid doing this kind of thing. Um, while while you're sticking in the areas, uh, oh, we can't do that. Never mind. Actually, I don't. I don't personally have a problem with it. So. Uh, what I was thinking is, well, we'll just use an industry area or something like that, but we don't have those DLCs, so never mind. Okay, um, let us see here. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to expand out this way. Bring it on over here. And I'm basically trying to make it approximately the same area here. I'll give you some of that resource there to be able to utilize and with your industrial if you so choose. And uh, we'll bring it on in here. Big to fill it in. Oop, that's not kind of what I 
really not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so that is going to be the second area for team two. And this area really needs to go back to the way it was. Okay. And I think I will add this island here. For these guys, what we're going to do, let's see, what have they attached anything? They doesn't look like they've attached anything to the freeway. Doesn't look they've like y'all have actually done much. It uh, looks like you made a change the height of the railroad right there, and that is about it. Um, and I don't like the way that is anymore, so we will alter that uh, and during this turn here. Now. I know that uh, we were asking for possibly some more industry area, have a permanent industry area. And uh, let's look at this real quick. Um, so that oil is really the only, well, there's a little bit of oil right there. Uh, the only areas of any interest, I would say, uh, for specialty industry. So I think that's going to take a while to get to. Um, I don't think we're quite there. I mean, I guess I could span over here. And you notice we do a random railroad that I must have forgotten to delete. Um, setting up the map. Hmm. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just 
setting up the boundary for the second round here. So I think we'll leave it like that. And so the idea behind this, to be clear, guys, is, and I'll explain this in writing as well on the, the server, um, this is going to be easement. So you guys can now do as you wish with this area. You can build roads across here, but you can't touch this area here. This is outside your boundary. So that demarks where your boundary is. You can build inside here, but it's an easement, which means... I have uh, authority to go in and delete anything that you build in this area, add anything I want in this area, and change anything I want in this area. If I wanted to, I couldn't come in and say, you know what, I don't like that uh, roundabout, so I'm going to change that. Uh, as government, I don't have that right. But if it is inside this easement area here, I will have that right. Does that make sense? Same thing uh, with the easement that's over here for Team 2. Um, everything that's in here and the way it was done, um, it has been changed. Actually, the rail has been changed quite a bit from the way I had it. And I will likely do some things to alter that because it's not quite how I uh, would expect it. Um, this is the main rail line, and we've put some uh, a rail uh, depot here. The way the rail depot ought to go is it ought to be an offshoot of this and then be a rail depot rather than going off my main line here because now you're causing some issues with uh, through traffic and uh, that's not going to work as well as we want it to. So uh, those are the kinds of things uh, that I will be uh, altering and I'll probably uh, be changing this whole setup here quite a bit from the way that it is uh, set up right now. And I probably will leave that bridge more or less intact with the exception of maybe widening it, um, possibly altering it slightly, but as little as I can. And same thing with uh, these things. Uh, that rail is going to be altered quite a bit. It is um, going a bit uh, further than I would, uh, would, would like the teams to go. Um, yeah. Okay, so that this team has there. I'm going to give them another uh, attachment here, but it's just going to be a really basic attachment. And I think that you guys will get another attachment over here. So we'll have a proper on and off ramp here um, for you guys. So we'll get a second inland outlet. Um, you, of course, will have domain over this area with the understanding that it's an easement, so you can attach a second place here. I'm going to widen this whole freeway, which I'll do uh, momentarily, and um, check to make sure uh, other things have been taken care of. So, moving on, oh, uh, let's go ahead and name these things. So, Team 1 Round two and uh, team two round two hey painted heptagon i just noticed you were in how's it going is the game supposed to be visible at the moment because it's not oh it's just my face right <laughs> oh man my apologies uh, last thing I had done on here was just a a podcast update, so. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, my bad. <laughs> You're welcome, Painted. I'm sorry about that, bro. Okay, um... So I'll go back over what, what I have done so far. Um... Just watching my face look at it, my tired face look at it again, that's probably not too interesting. Okay. So, what I have done so far is I detached the pipe that was going between the two teams at the behest of uh, city government, city government, or, or state government asked me to do that, so I did that. That is going to cause an issue for Team 2 as they don't have any um, water treatment. And I don't know if it's going to cause a problem for Team 1 or not. So before our, our round is over, uh, Team 3's round is over, I'm going to re-talk to government about that. Because I don't think when they told me to do that, they knew that they didn't have anything. Um, and then I've also set up the additional areas here now this one i think should be a bit larger here so we're going to extend it just a little bit make it a bit larger here i think that's good so those are going to be the new areas fine on team one okay uh gotcha painted and um uh, yeah, so what I was explaining, Painted Hampton Gun, for you guys specifically, is, you know, these guys, because they had, on both sides, they had this easement here. So they were able to build within there, but I'm going to go in and alter things because they have uh, taken a little bit too much uh, leeway with the way that is supposed to work. I want this to be a through railroad, and then they can do an offshoot and do their own thing but uh the way they have it set up right now it's a little bit uh like they they have altered the the path too much um and it's mix it's mixing um private or city use with uh state use too much um i'll probably gonna widen this highway here and so with you guys y'all now have an easement here the easement goes from I'm going to get this smaller thing. The easement goes from here to here. So y'all can't really touch this area at all over here. But you can touch this area over here the way y'all were trying to do in round one. Um, you can also build bridges or tunnels across to get to your, um, to get to bridge from your starting position to your uh, second round position. Um, at you will. Um, don't do that over here. Uh, so this is uh, not, this is off limits, but this is on limits. But it does have a caveat because it's an easement. I have full rights uh, when it's back to Team 3's round uh, or, or turn or whatever to uh, delete, alter, change, add um, as I see fit to fit the needs of the region. And um, when I say I, I do mean we, uh, the whole government. Um, so if I wanted to change that roundabout, I didn't like it. Well, that's tough for us. Um, uh, government doesn't have any right to do so because that's well within y'all's city. Um, but here I will maintain those rights, if that makes sense. No, uh, that avenue attaching right here would cause a traffic issue that uh, is untenable now. Um, what we can do, uh, I, I won't, I won't be okay with you attaching here. If you guys want to build a bridge over, um, I think we can live with that one. If that is what you're looking to do. <laughs> you got to wait for the latency. Yeah, go ahead and do that, and because you're talking to me here and uh, while I'm setting it up, I'm going to say that's okay. I don't want you guys attaching um, past the easement um, to my freeway, if that makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade this thing. 
Oh, I have a lot more limited options here, but I guess we can do that. Or, you know what I can do? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to upgrade this to be two or three lanes, depending on uh, the area. So we're going to just start with three. And then I'll make it highway speeds with the, the traffic mod. So we'll start three lanes, or two lanes there. And just upgrade this up. Um, and I will, I will work on this connection as well a little bit in just a moment. on that in a little bit. Okay. All right, now let's pretty this up a little bit, shall we? Good. And I tell you what, here's what we'll do. I'm turn all the screen off. Instead of you guys doing this, I'm just going to do it for you. That way. There'll be no confusion. Y'all can just continue right off of that thing. Is that uh, bridge work for you, Paint It? I'll turn that light. 
light off for you. Cool deal. All right, Bo. Um, painted, while I'm uh, working on this, if you have anything else that you guys uh, want me to look at or consider, um, specifically around this intersection, uh, let me know what you're thinking before I just go in and do what I want. Um, so I can take at least what y'all want into consideration before I, I just go after it, okay? And in the meanwhile, I'll work on this intersection while uh, I give you some time to, to work that out. All right, so. Oh, yeah. Way too... Yeah, that kind of works. We certainly need to eliminate. Oh, where is it? There it is. Eliminate that. Okay. Don't have a one here, do we know? Good. There it is. Okay. Um, I don't understand your question when you say it's supposed to be an avenue. I mean, um, this isn't. It. it it's not necess You mean this highway here? Is that what you're asking, Jack Daniels Highway? So, yes and no. I'm using the avenue because I don't have um, the, the two-lane divided highway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and basically change the speed limit up to 100 here across the board. I'll go back and do that uh, across the board in a little bit. Um, but uh, So it's going to basically really act as a highway. It's, I'm just using the avenue because I don't have other options because I don't have all the assets that I'm used to having. Um, but it will work like a highway. Now... As uh, traffic gets heavier, if need be, we might upgrade that to be a larger avenue. So we could always go to uh, three lanes on either side, which is basically the same as this freeway here. It's just attached, and it's a little bit more narrow, so it doesn't take up as much space. Um, and having the traffic manager really is what allows me to do such a thing, um, if that makes any sense. Good deal. Oh, that could use a little bit more work. There we go. That looks better. All right. So I don't like how that is looking. I want that to be bridge, I think. Maybe not there. Yeah.
All right, I'm pleased with that. So about the intersection at our city, it would be nice to have an upgrade like a roundabout with or without an underpass, overpass or underpass, and have it go in the upper new part as well. The upper new part. I don't know what uh, you mean by the upper new part. I apologize. You mean it have it extend into the uh, into this section here? Is that what you mean by the upper new part? Yeah. So, um, I got you. You know what? I'm not gonna mess with it, and here's why. Uh, your round is gonna start, uh, or your next turn is gonna start right as soon as my turn is done, and because y'all have easement, this is an easement and not a. Um, it's not going to be like last time. So, like, it, this is section here is just like last time. Y'all don't touch this section. Uh, Y'all don't alter it. it. It's not yours to touch. Same thing without here. But between that line and that line, you guys can do what y'all need to do here. So if you want to make a little roundabout like y'all had before or what have you, uh, y'all can do it the way y'all want to do it. Uh, what I do ask is you leave my... Uh, avenue if you will my avenue slash um highway here uh b with the exception you can you can attach to it and it should look at least something like this if not better um and so i'm just gonna let you guys do it uh so that y'all can do it the way y'all want to and if you want to be able to extend into it uh and you want to be able to take this um road here and bring it across uh same thing if uh y'all want to take a road from over here somehow and do it across you you may um and if you don't want to that's fine too so i i'm gonna just leave it to you guys uh all right that way i'm not i'm not fumbling with it and messing with it So that looks like it's fine. I don't think I need to change that right there. This looks kind of hideous to me. It's not how I would do it. But to try and change it as little as possible, I think the only thing I'm going to really do is maybe alter how some of these things attach, I think. I kind of hate that. That's going to make it really awful. Kind of defeats the purpose. Just not big enough is really what the problem is.
Kind of strange, it's not snapping at all. It only snaps for me. I don't get that. Particularly horrendous. I'm gonna have to work on the heights on that as well. Oh, eBay. is kind of causing a problem.
Let's get this looking a little bit better, shall we? So.
Yeah, no problem, bro. You know, I, I had to widen this up quite a bit. Uh, you notice it's uh, four lanes now instead of just uh, two, so uh, that was part of it. Um, Photo Probe, you're on Team 2. Or, oh, I'm sorry, Protobe. Protobe? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Protobe? You're on Team 2? All right, bro. Uh, I'm not going to do it for you, but I expect that y'all y'all need to move this. Uh, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to let y'all move it, but y'all need to move it. It's just, it's it's not it's not in the right place, and it's um, well within the... Uh, the easement here, so we need to fix that. I assume you can relate that to your team for me. Um, also, one of the things that happened is uh, this needs to stay to be a, a through rail and does not need to be altered. Um, you can attach to it, but don't alter it. Um, same thing with the highway. Um, through an easement. You all can attach to it, but do not alter it at an easement. Um, so I I did reconnect it, and I, I deleted a lot of this because it was mostly in my zone. Um, some of it, honestly, was a little bit outside my zone, but honestly, I think only maybe just a wee bit right there, and it was just not um, tenable the way y'all had it. So uh, y'all are welcome to add those back in but don't reattach so close because this honestly is already worrying me what's going to happen is the um the uh trains are going to back up so there's going to be a, a train right here and there's going to be a train backing up and that's going to prevent any of the trains from going through it's going to create a lot of train traffic and it's going to be a nightmare to deal with so if you know y'all can leave that there the way i have it right now if y'all wish but my suggestion is that we take this and we move it a little bit further away from the main rail or or um, at least uh, move it down line to have at least this long of a line leading up to it so that you can have one or two trains back up and still have the main line be able to move through and bypass it. Um, so that's my suggestion for, for what it's worth. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is causing a backup that is uh, creating a large enough problem that state and uh, national government might actually step in to, to alter that. But at the very least, this needs to be the minimum that we're going to maintain for now. Um, I'm going to leave that intersection in for now, but if that intersection starts causing problems, we might want to change it um, or eliminate it. Uh, just to show you, because I'm sure you didn't, you weren't on earlier. This is where you're gonna uh, have your your second round, uh, your second round uh, play at. So, I gave you the island here. Uh, Y'all are welcome to also start bridges here, and then honestly, this area here will be Team One's eventually, and so um, you can start the bridge, but then Team One will have to finish it. Um, and uh, yeah. Hmm. That's what I got so far. Also, you guys don't have any um, sewage treatment. There's no sewage treatment for your city because y'all had it just attached to Team 1's sewage treatment. And state government has asked me to eliminate that pipe there. I am going to talk to them about that because if Team 1 does their entire... Um, if Team 1 does their entire... Uh, round uh, I don't know what Pim I don't I'm not sure what you're referring to but what I'm what I was gonna say is that if team one does their entire round or their turn before you do their your part of the turn um, your city's just going to be demolished uh, or at least completely abandoned and everybody will be sick and it's just gonna be bad news so um, I don't know if uh, Government's just going to have me give you some um, water treatment or reconnect for now with the mandate that you must uh, be self-sufficient with your water treatment as well as your water intake. 
before you give it back uh, at the end of round two. I'm not sure which one we're going to do on that, and I need to consult with um, the rest of the government. I'm not going to make that decision on my own. Um, so the, here's the way it works. Um, if uh, at some point Team 1's uh, area is going to uh, touch your area, at that point when that happens... Um, if you want to work with Team 1, if Team 2 wants to work with Team 1 to exchange power or water, you guys are welcome to do that. But um, go the government is not going to provide that connection uh, on a rural basis. And unless we, we have a discussion between all the teams and all the teams uh, agreed to doing such a thing... Um, the government can facilitate that, but you have to work that out with Team 1 before we can do that. We're not going to just make that happen. And that's the way that's supposed to be. So, um, can you? Uh, in principle, sure, but not. we're not going to just throw in power lines or water pipes the way that that water pipe was not supposed to be there uh, in the first place. So, you need to talk to Team 1. Team 1 and Team 2 need to negotiate something and then inform uh, state government that that's what they would like to do. And then state government does need to provide approval. If the state government says, yeah, that's nice, guys. I appreciate that y'all did it, but uh, we don't want that for XYZ reason. you know. But uh, most likely if it's something reasonable like let's throw some power lines between the two of them, I don't see why government wouldn't do that. But again, I don't really speak. For government on that level that's not my job my job is to connect roads and uh, if government says to do that then i would implement that but it would be up to higher ups than me uh, if that makes sense okay um let me go back to this i think that is pretty well set up let's um, make sure we have all that set up here oh i know what i need to do I need to actually make these go the right direction. And the right. Oh, I did this wrong. I did that wrong. sense to me. Okay. Okie dokie. That still looks good. Okay. Okay, so I'm reading this, but I'm not quite understanding. Are you going to change the speed limit of the four-lane road? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. I just, I, I haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, you're talking about uh, what's uh, really going to be Jack Daniels, is, is Jack Daniels Highway. Yes, uh, that will be changed. I, I just haven't uh, done that yet.
So if you're talking about this road here, um, this road will be upgraded as I see fit. The reason it's, a, it's an avenue, it's a normal road and not a highway, is simply because I don't have... Um, I, I don't want it to be big and wide like this, and we can always upgrade it to three uh, three lanes each way, and it'll essentially be the same as that, um, but much more compact. And since we have a uh, traffic manager, why not, right? So that's, uh, that's my thinking there. Yeah, so let's be clear, guys. Um, that and all of this right here may eventually go away. It may or may not. I'm not promising that it will go away, but I would not plan on it staying. Let me put it that way. So if you're looking for longevity, you know, move that stuff out of the um, easement. It's why it's an easement. I have right to, to change it at my will. I don't uh, anticipate that I will, but I can't promise that I won't. Um, certainly, a lot of this stuff right here um, is also something you need to think about. Um, I can tell you for sure that needs to go. That's, that's in my way. Um, if it's not gone by the next time, I'm going to just delete it. This time, I'm just going to give you the opportunity to move it uh, for yourself. Okay. I think that's all taken care of. So the only other thing I'm going to do... No, not the only other thing. One of the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an underpass here. And um, here it's just going to be... Then it can go to a thing like that. get a train connection up where <laughs> no worries Joey no worries it's funny oh uh, let me see something I saw a message of some sort I don't know what that message yeah, I think that's somebody not talking to me. Okay, I'm going to leave it be for now. Um, where was I? Uh, 
that's what I'm gonna do. It's time to Okay.
Oh, there's a lot more chat here. Uh, Painted Heptagon, you're asking for a train connection here. Um, if you do get it, it won't be on this round, that's for sure. Um, but you got a pretty good interchange here. And uh, you do have... You do have access here. As I was telling them, this main train line needs to have can have a through fare you shouldn't be doing too much to mess with this main train line but you could connect to it and bring trains over into here all you want to your heart's desire um you know just be mindful um of how you connect such that it will uh it not create too much uh back up if you have a a station that's too uh, closely attached to the main line. You want to be able to have those main line trains be able to go through. That's just, you know, generally speaking, uh, whether or not you're doing this particular thing. But you know, uh, you know, I, I'm pretty happy with the way that exchange looks. I think it's going to flow pretty good. The only issue that this kind of an exchange ever really has is going to be right here, and you know. Uh, you just need to plan accordingly when you're building in this area to not overbuild it uh, too quickly, um, to overwhelm that uh, too quickly. So, all right. So, yeah. So uh, it's got. Um, the main connection here, but then yes, it also has a U-turn a there and a U-turn there. So it, it's separate from them trying, if if they want a U-turn, they don't have to come and clog up this this underpass right here. They get their own separate U-turn right there and their own separate U-turn right there. If that makes any kind of sense, I guess I can press tab, get in there. And I went ahead and put this here. If you notice the way we did it, I just put that back so y'all don't connect too closely. I don't want y'all putting an intersection like right there. You know, once you get to here, y'all do whatever you want with it. In fact, what I'll do is I will move this back. I don't know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to let y'all do with it what you will uh, from there. But uh, just know that you got a little bit of space before you can start building on Kathleen Avenue right here. Whoop, wrong buttons. All right, now I'm gonna do something real quick. This is just temporary, so I can look at the traffic without destroying Team 2's city. I'll run it, see how traffic runs on everything. problem right there okay so let's make sure that's set up where is it there it is <laughs> yeah it's still pretty awful right here with this regular interchange but again i'm gonna let you guys that'll probably be one of the first things you do i'm sure on the next round
Well, Paint Heptagon, I appreciate uh, you telling me that, but I was given a, a very specific and not at all unclear directive to remove it, so uh, I shall remove it unless and until I talk. I, I'm going to talk more with government and say, hey, I know you told me to remove it, but you know it's going to kind of ruin Team 2's thing during Team 1's turn um, and see, see what they got to say about that. Um, but... Uh, Otherwise, it is going to get ganked because that's what I was told to do, whether or not I like it or not. Yes, we need to manage the lanes over here. Gotcha, Bob. I appreciate you saying that. Um, and like I said, I'll talk to him about it. I'm not saying they will be unreasonable. I'm just saying it's not my call. are doing it wrong over here. It'll get better, I promise. It, it was just backed up.
you give it a little bit of time to undo and it's gonna it's gonna clear out this this exchange is working really efficiently there's no backup here whatsoever uh, looks like there was a little bit right there but it's still making its way it's still getting the job done um, and so that traffic is cleared out now so something is still causing traffic I think it's when they're coming off of here they're getting into the other lane to be able to turn left there so that's going to be remedied if and when we put a, a ramp here and so it's the 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 to get it over here you're going to take off off the ramp on the right hand side that'll eliminate a lot of that and then i can also work on eliminating a little bit of that with just uh, lane management here so if we actually allow them to come over here and come over here it might actually work a little bit better And it's only going to work so well because this now is very well overtaxed as an intersection and so it's just it needs to be upgraded i'm just not going to upgrade it for them there i'm going to allow them to do it now that they have uh the same kind of easement that you guys had uh over here and actually it looks like it's starting to clear out a little bit we'll see if it that it, it just stays or if this actually maybe clears out i ain't gonna hold my breath but let's check it out maybe give it a second yeah i don't think it will i think this is about as good as it's gonna get for right now the only way that could be better without doing a full-on interchange would be making it three lanes each way here but i'm not gonna do that for now I'm gonna let them work it. I'm gonna let them work it. Now, we do have a road here, so let's um let's do an exchange here. So I think the way this is gonna work is gonna lift this up about to right there let's make sure that this is even with that it is okay Actually, I think I don't want to do that. I changed my mind. There we go. I think instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my famous J intersection one more time. that tree is kind of a all right so I'm gonna Yeah, so when this intersection gets upgraded, it's going to take care of all the traffic that's going down here. And then they also got this uh, intersection or, or interchange there. 
So that ought to work pretty well. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, that creates an extra challenge having that railroad there. I love it. Okay, so I think what we're going to do, we're going to carry this up. We'll branch off from there.
Yo, I don't know about you guys. I am getting tired. <laughs> I'm not talking that much even. I know I've been very silent while I'm doing this intersection, but oh, I'm tired. Hmm. All right, see you later, Painted Heptagon. I mean, I think I'm pretty done, pretty much done. Once I've done this interchange, you know, I will have upgraded. I've added that interchange, upgraded or or corrected that one, corrected that, upgraded that one, left that to you guys. I put that bridge over and I gave you an interchange there. I think that should be everything. I'll I'll double check everything before I leave, but. I think we're pretty much there. Dude, though, over here, I need a
Mm. Okay, guys. I think that's gonna be pretty much it. Right, so uh, I think that's it. I'm going to go to bed. Uh, in the morning, I will check with uh, Zardis, Jack Daniels, and uh, Nuki Duke, and our Nuki Dookie, and uh, see what they think. I might make changes if they ask or suggest changes. I'll take some screenshots and put it up there, explain... Uh, the the easements over here I did explain that to uh, painted heptagon earlier for team one but just so that there's nothing unclear about it and um, I'll probably remove that water pipe and or talk with the city government and ask them what they want to do for it uh, before I sign off and go away is there anything that anybody that is still on the chat wants me to do want has a question about anything like that um, speak now or for ever hold your peace because I'm not going to do a live stream tomorrow I'm just going to fix anything that they asked me to do Let's watch, um, well, let's load it up, load, and let's, uh, let's, let's see what the map looks like with the, the first round in the books, and a new upgrade, shall we? Take my face off, I don't need to see my face anymore, good night.